there are two approaches for doing this question. First up, probably a slightly nicer approach. Let's find the price for the builders to sell the same number of bricks. So let's find the lowest common multiple of 10 and 12. They actually share a common factor of two, so you don't, it's not just gonna be 10 times 120, although you could work out how much to sell 120 bricks, but actually the lowest common multiple is 60. So Bob, to sell 60, would be 36 pounds. That just times through by six, and then Jerry, to sell 60, I would times by five, so 35 pounds. So Bob, um, Bob gains one pound more per 60 bricks. Therefore, we can see to get four pounds more, we just times through by four, he would have to sell 240 bricks. It's a nice approach. Approach number two, a little bit more technical. I actually worked out the price per brick. So Bob, for one brick, is going to gain, um, he sells 10 to six pound. So he's going to get six over 10 pound per brick or three fifths of a pound per brick. Jerry, for the same thing, one brick is going to be seven over 12 and that doesn't simplify. So I know they're selling the same amount. So um, Bob, I then created an equation. Okay. Bob is going to need to sell three fifths times N. If he sells, if, if they sell, if they each sell N bricks. And N, I should just say, I'm not going to write it down, but N is such that Bob is going to earn one pound more. So Bob is selling three fifths N and Jerry is going to sell seven twelfths N. And these are not going to quite be equal, but going to be equal when Bob has got four pound extra. So a fractional equation. I'm now going to times through by the lowest common multiple of five and 12, which is actually 60. So I'm going to times through by 60. And this is why this is a harder route because you have to have some knowledge of fractional equations. Okay, when I times through by 60 here, three fifths, I'm going to times by 60 equals seven twelfths times 60 and then I times the 4 by 60 as well to give 240. Okay the 60 and the 5 partially cancel because 60 divided by 5 is 12 and I'm left with 3 times 12 n or 36 n. The 60 divided by 12 partially cancels leaving me 7 times 5 so 36 n is 35 n plus 240. And from that, I just minus 35n, giving me n is 240. Gotta say, that first method is a lot simpler. Uh, the second method is how I did it. I just kind of thought, all right, I'm going to create an equation. It all worked out. It's just an alternative approach. Anyway, well done.